Hi, this is Scott from SmartMeterCovers.com. I want to do a quick demonstration here. Uh, we're going to measure the Smart Meter here before and after application of the Smart Meter cover. I'm using a TES-92 electrosmog meter, which you can purchase on Amazon. You can see it just ticked up there, so the Smart Meter just pulsed. We're going to do a couple different measurements. We're going to measure continuously like this. This meter pulses every 10 or 15 seconds, so we'll see that. Whoop, there it pulsed again. Uh, and so that went, I saw about, went up to about 90 milliwatts per meter squared. Whoop, there it goes again, it's pulsing again. So we're going to measure also, we're going to do a max setting because it pulses so quickly, you can see it continuously pulsing. Uh, we're not necessarily getting the max reading. So we're going to, I'm going to go put this on max. We're going to wait for it to pulse and, uh, and see uh, what, what the max reading is that we get. Okay, that was 106 milliwatts per meter squared. So let's try again. Let's do another max reading. It's, it's pulsing every 10 or 15 seconds. We'll see uh, how high this goes here this time around. Uh, again, this meter pulsing every 10 or 15 seconds from what I can gather. If it's every 10 seconds, whoop, there we go, 253 milliwatts per meter squared, kind of the max reading that we've got there. So now let's go ahead and put the smart meter cover on. And the application's pretty simple. I'm just gonna, this meter has a lock, so we're just gonna look for the cutout here. We're going to slide it over. Done. Okay, now we're back. I'm gonna be right here in front of the meter. And you can see the readings are very low. The continuous reading is almost zero now. Uh, the meter should pulse. Whoop, there it goes. It pulsed up, pulsed up. Went, uh, went up to a few milliwatts per meter squared, but significantly lower than 250. I think I saw it went up to about 6 or 7. Uh, so we can wait for another pulse. That went up to about 3. So 250 was our max reading without the cover, and that was 3. Let's get a max reading here. Okay, that was 4. So it just pulsed, and we got it up to 4. Call it 5. So 250 down to 5 milliwatts per meter squared. Let's get one more max reading. Seven. So 250 down to seven. You see this thing is pulsing regularly. Let's try it one more time. Oh, there it goes again. Eight. So 250 down to eight I think is about a 98 percent reduction. There's five that time. So you can see without the cover 250 milliwatts per meter squared. With the cover between five to eight milliwatts per meter squared. Oh, there we went up to nine. So let's call it 10. So 250 to 10. Uh, we could do the math on what the reduction is there. So another question that we get asked is, will the cover reflect the energy back into the home? So we're gonna go test inside. The answer to that is no. The utility box is grounded metal. And so that actually reflects RF. But uh, we will also go inside and measure. So let's take our device and go inside. Okay, so we just walked in, we still have our, our shielding cover on, uh, it's right here, you can probably see it on the other side there. And so we've got our meter, and reader meetings are almost zero, oh, there we go, so it just pulsed and went up to 200 microwatts, but you can see 200 microwatts. So significantly lower uh, than the max readings we were getting uh, out in front of the meter. So. Bottom line is, well, we can get a max reading if you wish. Let's see what the max is that we get when it pulses. I mean, I'm as close as I can get here too. I mean, I'm right up against the window. 300 microwatts uh, compared to 250 milliwatts uh, without the cover uh, on. So significantly lower. We can get another max reading here. Wait for it to pulse again. Well, maybe that's about it. Anywhere between 50 micro, oh, there we go, 400 microwatts. So significantly lower uh, without the cover. So 
that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions uh, or want more information, go to smartmetercovers.com and send me a message.